this is slide, and this is clutch, and together they are the latest products to be developed by the artisan geniuses at Peak Design. And in this episode of 5 Minute Photo, I'm going to run them through their paces and let you know what I think. So let's get started. So if you're like me, you've got this collection of camera neck straps uh, and aftermarket neck straps that you've acquired over the years. They may look nice, but they're either too long or too short. They don't carry the weight well. They're frankly not that usable, and so we just toss them off to the side because they're uncomfortable to use. In fact, I've got this Nikon D600 uh, camera body strap that I've never taken out of the packaging because, quite frankly, I haven't needed to. That's because when I got the D600, I also started using Peak Design's Leash. Leash is made of this nylon material, very similar to what you'd find in your car or your truck as a seatbelt strap. And this has been great for me. It's comfortable to wear as a sling strap, as a shoulder strap, as a neck strap. And it's small, it's lightweight, it fits in the pocket. And I will say that the price you pay for having something that's so lightweight, so compact, is the narrowness of this nylon strap is such that if you're using your camera body with a heavy uh, lens, a long telephoto lens, for example, then it can become a little tiresome wearing that around your shoulder or your neck all day long. So we're going to take the leash and put it aside into the pocket. Let's take a look at Peak Design's latest product, Slide. It's their Pro Camera Strap Redefined. So the principle of slide is very similar to the principles of leash in terms of how this connects to your camera body. This is my Nikon D90 and Peak Design provides two of these anchor links with each slide camera strap. So the anchor link uh, attaches to where your camera strap would normally attach. One of the advantages of the anchor link idea is that while the camera strap can take a lot of time and can be a little difficult to attach to the camera body, these anchor links attach very quickly, very easily. And also I would normally connect the second anchor link here to the bottom and I'll use Peak Design's patented uh, camera mounting plate. This is a plate that's compatible with, with most Arca head tripods and the silicone top uh, gives purchase and also prevents you from damaging the bottom of your camera body introducing too many scratches. So we'll just get this started, spin it around a little bit. And once you get it finger tight, if you want it a little more tight, well, Peak Design has this handy dandy Allen wrench that they deliver with the product. You can also use a flathead screwdriver or in a pinch, you can even just take a quarter and just give it another half turn and this is secure on the bottom of the camera. So I'm going to take a corner to attach this to. Okay, we'll move the camera body over here and we're going to take this anchor link and we're just going to slide it into one of the, we're going to slide the cord into one of the four corners of the camera mounting plate. And it's a little bit of a tight hole. I think you'll, you might want to attach this before you actually get the camera mounting plate onto the camera body just so you have more room to work with. But I wanted to show you this way just so you could see that once you do have this camera mounting plate on the camera body you still can get the anchor link onto uh, the camera mounting plate and so now with these two anchor links on the camera body now we've got these two points where that connect to the anchor links and we can take a look at how slide can be worn so let's go ahead and connect the slide strap to the camera body Again, we'll just take these anchor links as you uh, press down on them. They slide right into the holders on the slide strap. And put this over the shoulder. So it's already set to about a sling strap kind of length. Uh, but I will tell you right now that as you can see how it's laying against my right side, it's not as convenient for me to get my right hand onto the grip and my forefinger onto the shutter release button. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an adjustment on the positioning of the anchor link. So I'm gonna take off the slide strap and make that adjustment right here. So I'll tell you right now, I haven't really used this product that much. This is very much a first impressions review video. And the reason I'm doing that is because 
I want to show you how difficult or how easy it is to make these kind of adjustments. So we'll move one anchor link over to the other side of the camera body. And then the second adjustment I'm going to make is the bottom anchor link on the camera adapter plate. I'm going to move that one over here to this other corner. And they are small holes, so it takes a little bit of dexterity to get the loop through the hole. But once it's through again, the tab on the anchor link just goes through the loop and you're all set. So again, we're ready to connect slide to the anchor links. And I'll tell you, that took about, what, 30 seconds? To make that adjustment and here we go the camera body is now laying against my right side my right hand goes right up against the grip I can bring it up my four fingers on the shutter uh, release my thumbs right over back button focus this is how I want the camera to be positioned this is a comfortable wearing position for me as a sling strap now we can also wear this as a shoulder strap and so um, we'll go ahead and put the camera body down and one of the things I want to show you is that on the back side of this strap, there's this silicone material. And the silicone is on a padded section of the strap. That's about a 12 inch length or thereabouts of the strap that's padded to make it more comfortable to wear around your neck or across your shoulder. And the silicone should uh, grab some purchase to my shirt material to uh, give me a little better confidence that the camera's not going any places. I'm wearing this in shoulder strap position. Okay, so we'll go ahead and flip this over, flip over the slide, and just kind of stand here. And I'm jumping up and down. I wouldn't normally do this, but you can see the strap isn't going anywhere, really. I think the silicone material is doing its job. It's gaining some purchase on my shirt. But uh, because I like to be careful with my camera equipment, I'm going to go ahead and slide this back up. We're going to go ahead and make an adjustment here. I'm just going to rotate this the other way out, bring it up over the head again, and we're going to pull up on this and shorten this a bit. Do the same on this side. And get the arm out. We'll bring it into a neck strap position. Now for, for this, of course, what I would probably do is um, just take the camera body off the bottom anchor and let's take this anchor, move it over to the other side of the camera body, the other corner. And again, notice how I'm really able to make this adjustment with one hand, one hand then get this anchor link back into position and boom so we can wear it around as a neck strap as well and let me tell you this you know feels pretty comfortable the padded portion of the strap feels pretty good around the neck now I haven't been wearing it all that long I haven't been wearing it around all day but I can tell you this slide as Peak Designs Pro Camera Strap Redefine it feels comfortable it's easy to adjust it's versatile and I think for a photographer, versatility is so important. It's almost as though each piece of equipment should be able to do more than one thing and do those multiple things easily. And Peak Design has succeeded with this. Neck strap, sling strap, shoulder strap. It's comfortable. It's easy to get on and off. And with the camera tripod mounting plate, I can put this on a tripod for a long exposure or a shot that requires precise sharpness in focus, no hand holding. You want an absolutely steady camera body for that exposure. You don't have to remove the mounting plate, whether it's on the bottom of the camera or on the sides, like we have here, in order to use slide and to have your camera immediately ready to go on the tripod. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a big two thumbs up as an initial first impression on Peak Design Slide. And the next product we're going to take a look at is Clutch. This is Clutch, and Clutch is Peak Design's first camera hand strap. Clutch is the product of well over a year of research and investigation by the folks at Peak Design 
into what would make the perfect camera hand strap. One of the features I know they're proud of is this locking mechanism, which features hardware and design that you're familiar with if you know climbing equipment. Uh, in particular, this quick release mechanism at the top, just going to push down the locking mechanism, pull out the strap. This strap slides through where the top anchor would attach for your leash or your slide camera strap and then it just slides through and automatically locks. The bottom attachment point for clutch is an anchor link again very similar to slide and this uh, product clutch comes with two of these anchor links as well as the anchor link connector. Again, you just push down with your thumb and the anchor link slides into place and locks. Then your hand goes into the hand strap. Now you'll notice this is quite loose the way it's initially set up coming out of the box. But again, another design feature the folks at Peak Design I know are very proud of is the quick adjustment uh, mechanism for tightness around your hand. This strap can be easily adjusted using just one hand. In fact, if I come in from the bottom, grab the strap and pull down, I can adjust the tightness, tightness and I will admit I have rather small hands, so I've got this tightness adjusted pretty much all the way. Uh, and I can comfortably get to the shutter release button with my forefinger, back button focus with my thumb, and I'm ready to go. Now, one thing I do notice when I just let the camera hang uh, with my hand just up against the inside padding of the strap is that there is this gap that forms between my hand and the camera. And so as a good safe procedure, I think I would want to have at least three points of contact between this hand and the camera body, the heel of your hand, at least one finger, and the strap going across the back of your hand with those three points of contact, your camera will be secure. And again, it's very easy to adjust. This is one of the critical design elements of clutch. If I want to loosen this because I'm wearing a glove, perhaps a, a winter glove, just pull up on this aluminum hardware and I get a little more space to work with. So if you have a bigger hand than me, most people do, <laughs> then uh, you'll find it easy to adjust the tightness of the strap. And once, if you want to tighten that strap again, you just reach across, pull this strap and pull it on it, and boom, you've got a nice tight hold with the strap and your four fingers against the shutter release button, your thumb is free to operate the back button focus, uh, and I just find this to be very secure feeling and very comfortable. Now, I will admit I'm not regularly or normally a hand strap user when I'm doing photography. As a landscape photographer, I am religious about using a tripod to ensure I'm getting absolute perfect focus and precise sharpness in all my images. However, as an occasional video shooter, even though I'm using a tripod for this shoot, if I want to shoot handheld, Clutch is the kind of product that would help give me a nice stable platform, even going handheld for my camera. Or as a sports photographer or uh, an event photographer where you're shooting handheld, the camera strap again will give you a little bit of extra stability along this right side of your camera to help ensure a steadier handheld shot. So with slide and clutch from Peak Design, I would give them two thumbs up. These are products that were designed by photographers for photographers with photographers input. And that's the signature of Peak Design products. They're elegant, they're beautiful, they are rugged, they are well designed, they just work, they're easy to adjust, they're versatile. All qualities that photographers are looking for in the equipment they use. So again, two thumbs way up for slide and clutch. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ferris, and I'll see you next time on 5-Minute Photos.